Hello, my name is Commander Mittens, and welcome to my playthrough of Summer Sea Submariner. This is not my first time playing this game, but I've never achieved a full ending before, and this will be my attempt to get it. Every time I have a lot of previous captains who had died prematurely. Uh, due to my own carelessness. But this also means that I have quite a few legacy items. Legacy items are like items that can be passed down to your next generation, your next captains. You will see what I mean when I start the game. So let's start and explore Fallen Linda. Before I create a captain, I have something to do. Yes, I am turning on merciful mode because I want this to be my final captain. I don't want to have to replay this game all over again. And if this makes me a little bit of a coward, so be it. But I just want to progress and I don't want to die and have to restart all this again because this is a slow and long game. I just want to progress. So currently I am in unforgiving mode. Sunner C auto saves whenever you dock and whenever you die. You may switch to merciful mode and save manually. This will remove your character's Invictus token. The Invictus token is basically just a bragging rights anyway. You get a Steam achievement if you win the game with the, Invic the, with the Invictus token in your inventory. So, I think the pros of an opening merciful mode is higher, more than uh, having not having it. Okay, so I'm going to turn merciful mode on. Yes, um, let's give her a name. Shadow Stranger. I should have thought this out more. What about Maxine Appleton? Oh, spelling. That sounds nice. And it can shorten to map. Okay. Save. Saving game. Thank you. And now, when we do something reckless, we could save. Before we do it. So in case we die, we can, re we can reload and restart. As you can see... I already have a comatose spirit. I guess. But as you can see, I have lots of iron, I have lots of veils and pages. This is not my first captain, but I have lost I have lots of money too, so this is a good startup. Needless to say, my last captain was pretty successful, and I was pretty, pretty far with him before I died. So, I've had enough of dying far, far into the game. So let's make a new one. That is a little bit of a cheat. Okay. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone. But it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Untersea. Choose a past. Okay. Decide who you were and what you want to be. Who were you? Now you're a captain. Now you belong to the Untersea. But who were you before? Hmm. I can be a street urchin and will give me a bonus to veils. I can be a poet and give a bonus to pages. Or I can be a veteran and give give a bonus to iron or an ordained priest, bonus to hearts, 
and natural philosopher uh, bonus to mirrors. My mirrors and hearts. Okay, let me explain uh, what does all these like stats do. Um, some of these tend to name their stats very strangely. So basically iron is destroy, increase the damage your attacks do. This is like the attack stat. Mirrors Detection and perception. The higher your mirrors, the quicker you can find a firing solution in combat. It helps in combat so that uh, you can fire more. But it helps with other things as well. Mirrors is pretty... It's like... Uh, it's a detection and perception, yes. So it's like... Uh... Yeah, what it says here. Veils. Speed, stealth, deception. Decreases the range at which enemies will spot you. This is, yeah, this explains the, the, basically this is for like, if you want to be sneaky, be fast, so veils will help. And then there's pages, exoteric, and occasionally practical knowledge. Mm, this is a bit more easier it, to explain. It's called pages, but it's basically uh, EXP points. So when you accumulate enough uh, pages uh, slash exe points you can upgrade your stats through when you fill all these you can go to them and upgrade uh, their like their uh, specific stat with pages this is pretty important when you get 100 pages i think it's when you get like one stat Mm, hearts heal inspire heal defense so hearts is like your hp your defense Mm. Sometimes help with tests around terror. Ah, yeah. So it's like your your this is a defense. This is important. This is important too. Oh no. Um. Okay. I don't need. I don't need bales. Pages is very very useful. I don't need iron. Iron is super high. What do you need? Please hearts. Hmm. I've never picked Ordain Priest before, but uh, Natural Philosopher Mirrors is this too? Hmm. An Ordain Priest, you fell from grace, there is nothing left ashore for you. An anon anonymous benefactor has found this way out for you. Perhaps at Z, you can overcome your appetites. What had I done as a priest? What had I done as a priest? A natural philosopher, you, your peculiar theories on time, blood, and starlight brought you down to the knee, the cavern where London lies, and now they take you out to Z. Oh, a natural philosopher sounds interesting. Okay. Okay, mirrors. It does help in combat. I mean, my iron is pretty high, so... Offense is the best defense, right? Right? We can always try and upgrade our hearts manually later on. Okay. Let's go with the natural philosopher, but because I don't trust the priest. I don't trust it. Your acquaintance, the plausible surgeon, will serve as ship's doctor until you find someone better. Talk to him to find out why he went to see. Ooh. Okay, so your stranger quality has gone. Welcome to the world. Yes, I get money. I get mirrors. 50 mirrors. Yes. Something is looking for a passage. Who? Who? Someone? Who is this? So this is like, um, how do you say? This is like, Sonacy is like a journal, a little bit like a visual novel type, but far far deeper than just any visual novel so this is when you when i accept uh to be the the natural philosopher so this these are things that happened okay you were a natural philosopher now you're a z captain you're a stranger quality has gone welcome to the world because if you pick to be the mystery one then you will keep the a stranger quality quality is kind of like a status thing in in sunless sea 
you will find quality a lot. It's just a stat status thing. Echoes is the money used in uh, Fallen London and Summer Sea. In Untersea, more like. Mirrors, I've got one... Uh, basically, which, which uh, pass you pick will decide which... Uh, I think there is a predetermined like a uh, officer for you to get. So if I pick a natural philosopher, I will get a plausible surgeon. Then okay, someone is looking for passage, so someone wants to come on as well. Choose an ambition. What does reading mean to you? So this I've never achieved any single one of this. I've always wanted to do your father's bones. I've always been. 80% there, but then I died because the further you go in the exploration of the game, it, the harder it becomes and you meet more dangerous uh, enemies out in the sea. Fulfillment of wealth, I feel is very... How to say? Fulfillment is for exploration to the max. It feels very... How to say? Normal? Easy? I don't know. So, for story's sake, and I feel like I've played Summer Sea enough to actually try for this, and since I'm in Mercy full mode now, we should try for Immortality. This one, you actually require the submarine to achieve, which I feel is uh, a part of the game that is less explored. So we should explore more. So we are going to pick Immortality. Eternal life sounds like something you enjoy, and it's said that the presbyter, presbyter, the ruler of the elder continent, has lived forever. So let's choose this. Tall tales. The presbyterate guards its secrets fiercely, but amidst the clamor and beer stains of the blind helmsman, a salt scarred navigator is telling tales of the. Con continent's deepest interior, of a city called Nida, and the origin of the presbyter's long life. Where is he getting his information? Bring wine. He is susceptible to wine. Mm. you find the navigator and your first clue in London. Yes. Begin your quest in London. Okay, I need, I need to get, get wine then. Uh, but we are not done creating the captain yet. So, a last scrap of paperwork. Captain, Captain, an irregularity with the harbour master's office. They wish to know what term of address do you prefer ashore? Mm. This will determine what people call you your captain, but your captain's gender is up to you. Oh, so I, I can be called a madam, but can be a guy. Mm. My lord and my lady sounds very uh, pretentious, so probably not those. Citizen, hmm. A term of address popular among those of egalitarian sentiments. Mm. Okay. Citizen, please. Citizen Maxine or Madam Maxine. Oh, Madam Maxine sounds like... I don't like the sound of Madam Maxine. Citizen, then. Citizen, perhaps you're some sort of rabble-rousing enthusiast, eh? Perhaps, perhaps... A last piece of advice, explore, take chances. This captain will probably die. The Z is hungry, but each captain, captain passes on lessons to the next. No, you don't get it. I won't die this time. <laughs> okay, now to select portraits. Okay, Maxine. Ah. Okay, whenever I, whichever I pick, it will be here for the rest of the game. So, I hate that there's only one row of girls. Why? I guess I could pick this and I could still be Maxine. But there's only one, one row of girls. Hmm. I'm an adventurous lady. This kind of speaks to me. I'm kind of digging the tentacle hats. Maxine, oh, 
spelling Maxine Appleton. How do I do the same? Typos. Maxine Appleton. I'm fe really feeling this one. Okay. Too bad there's no with none with ponytail. Unfortunate. Maxine Appleton. Let's go. Yay! We've created our first captain. Okay, now we start the game. And submarina tutorial. Welcome, delicious friend. Okay. Ah. Do I still need a tutorial? How to convert your new captain's ship into a submarine. The fierce philanthropist runs a profitable enterprise, quietly converting ships into submarines in the old sapphire processing factory in Port Carnelian. Okay, Port Carnelian, we're not going to get there so soon. So, do we want to remove... Or else this tutorial is going to be here bothering us for the rest of eternity, whenever we dock. Okay, we don't need the tutorial. I'll just, just, just... Okay, so... We'll, we'll we'll take this quest, okay? You, okay. Um, thanks to your predecessor's vital contribution to our business, she will apply the modifications to your vessel gratis. Oh, oh, oh! You will not need to repeat the quest to discover the submarine conversion process. Just visit the old sapphire processing plants in Port Canadian to have the alterations applied to your current vessel. Oh, I guess. This is one of the pros of having a previous captain, I guess. Okay. Okay, now remove this tutorial. Go. Thank you. You are master of your destiny. You need no advice. Yes, of course. And these two advice for captains. I do not need these. I know all these. Sell this book. Sell it. I will explain it to you when we encounter the specific things that need explaining. Okay? I've gained 50 echoes. Yes. Okay. The Labyrinth of Tigers, we cannot go we cannot go yet. Ooh, okay, this is our ambition. Okay, we have we need one cask of mushroom wine. Oh, a passenger. This is a passenger that uh that the passenger quality that we got when we accepted our past. Okay. Someone in the docks wants to board your ship. Agree to carry Nomic Gallivant to the Kumeyan Canal or the Iron and Misery Funging Station or both. Hmm. He strays a horse who will prick it with your with their spurs. He cries to no one in particular. A drop of blood may be as precious as a ruby. Okay, I'm not... Okay, the Iron and Misery Funging Station. The Kalmayan, the Kalmayan Canal is south of us, but we are not going south first in our first maiden voyage. So I'm going to ignore the Nomic Gallivant first for this, uh, this trip. Okay, let's go to London. She is the greatest city on the undersea. And don't you forget it. Oh. Adopt a Blemigan Gallivanter. A Blemigan sits atop a splintered crate, clicking and whistling at captains as they come near. Do I want to adopt this? Uh, okay. I'll adopt it then. A polite bow. You extend your hand and the Blemigan leaps on. Its tendrils entwine with your fingers, and it chitters quietly. It meets your gaze and bobs do its dome in greeting. It's very small. Is all enough for? Is it all enough for naval services? You are pretty sure its moustache has been drawn on in pen in an attempt to look older. As you approach your ship's gangplank, the creature flutes and vibrates with apparent happiness. The bosun winces as you bring it aboard. I have one of this Blemigan Gallivanter. So what I understand from um, Blemigans, uh, let me see. Is it in my hole right now? Okay, I don't have it in my hole. Okay, okay. 
Uh, from what I understand, a blemicon is actually kind of like a jellyfish of sorts. That's all I could say about it. Otherwise, I really don't know. It's like a, some sort of alien like jellyfish that floats in the air. Visit Admiralty's survey office. Okay, so this is like the kind of like your boss. Uh, in London. So you go out to see, you gather like uh, information from other ports and everything, and you come back here and you and you give your information to yeah, they'll pay for information from Z captains. Find out what and how. So they're kind of like your boss. But uh the pay also like your boss, the pay is okay in the beginning, but not that great later on. But let's go. Okay. The Emeralds Picket fleets and intelligence networks are long gone. The survey office pays sea captains a small sum for recent information. Mm. Uh, ask if there's anything in particular they need. Yes. Uh, well, we, if we can assure, be assured of your discretion. Yes. We will discreetly bring you things. This port. Speak to our agent there and return. We will see that you're rewarded. Okay, which port? Oh, retrieve strategic strategic information from the Iron and Misery Company Funjing Station. Ah, the same guy as uh, same place as that Nomic Galivan want to go. Okay, somewhere not far from Home Waters. Okay, ask to speak to higher part authority. Do you have an appointment? Ah, okay. I need I need to survey three ports and then only they'll see me. Fine, fine. I'll leave. I'll leave. Done. What else can I do here? At least all these I cannot do. Hire on more crew. I have eight. I have eight crew already. I don't need more. Mm, oh, offer passage to a tomb colonist. An emigrant will pay to be taken north to Vanderbite. Yes. Always take this quest. It's oddly difficult to die in fallen London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live. They wrap themselves in bandages and take ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew cart these ones aboard in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. Hmm. You now have one tomb colonies. Take the colonies to Vanderbite. Hmm. The tomb colonies is in your hole. Take them north to the colony of Vanderbite and sell them there. Okay. I'm... Okay. Don't ask questions in Fallen London. Yep. Okay, let me see. Uh, in my hold... Okay. So, this is the proof that I have a lot of past captains. These four items are legacy curiosities. In order to get them, you have to die as previous captains. Uh, so, not all of them needs you to die, but I know the Horizon Codex needs you need to die to get this, and an adumbration of a heart. Also, you have to die to get this. This uh, an adumbration of a heart reads: the account a certain submarine crew's dreams after their captain was allegedly taken by Lady Black. Mm. Interesting, right? The Horizon Codex. Herein are recorded certain details of a voyage through XXX in the company of XXX on XXX. Mm. This is to increase your pages. Oh. What is essay mean? Right click is essay. Does this mean throwing them away? No. A manual of miracles. I don't remember how I got this. Not miracles really, but they'll never get close enough to see the difference. Mm. The bouquet of sharps. This barely qualifies as a book. Dozens of scraps of paper have been crammed into a scuff folio. Each bears helpful advice on murder and often a stain. And also another thing about uh, not legacy items but inherited items. I have the memento mori. Of course, where my previous captain dies. I want to keep the strongest gun. This is the strongest gun game. But my ship does not have a forward slot. No. 
Oh, I have money to get a new ship. Uh, I need a ship before it slots. Okay, this this is my current ship is the Indelible Ligeia class steamer. This tram steamer has served well, but for a long, long time. Okay, hull is seventy five, hull capacity. Okay, wait. Okay, mm, I need something lighter because uh, how fast your your ship moves depends on how heavy the ship is. And of course, the strength of your engine. What is my engine? I think I have the basic engine. The deck. Uh, no, this one engines. Elderly steeple engine. Engine power plus 800. Yeah, it's it's, it's the basic engine. Okay, I need a cheap ship with uh, that is a bit faster. Okay, let me see. Ah, interesting. They have this. Cram and fragile but remarkably nifty show detailed information oh minus iron bonus oh okay they have the forward uh the forward slot how oh it's oh it's weaker mm, how 50 mm, this might be a deal breaker this is the one i have this is the weak the cheapest one okay what about this it's 300 echoes it's fine what the hell? Oh, it's heavy though. Oh no. It has forward, but it's it's also. Oh no. What do I do? It is too expensive. All these are too expensive still. He has a lot of hull, but it's it's heavy. Okay, if this is three hundred, three thousand echoes, um, I I should have money for a faster okay shops uh mrs plenty ship site provisioners oh th they sell okay she sells uh these things okay we'll stack exchange okay they sell things you could trade yeah these all like tradable items carols naval surplus okay they sell like a uh, torpedo weapons yep it's all weapons cabinets yards Okay, this a lot of these are weapons as well. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, a roaring beast of an engine. It's five thousand. Okay, someone else sells uh engine, please, a cheaper one. Yes, engines. Thank you. Wait. The elderly steeple engine is only fifty bucks. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. We are going to speed this up because uh, nobody has time to play this for a long time, right? So we want to sail faster. Okay, we are going to buy the ship. We are going to buy the faster. It's a smaller hull. Wait, it's not this one. Not this one. This one. This one. It's three thousand echoes. It has two thousand two hundred hull. Hull capacity the same. It weights two thousand. It's heavier. 15 quarters, so we have to hire us some people. Iron bonus 5. We have the forward. Okay, this is all great. We'll trade. Thank you. Oh, we have to name it. Plucky. Plucky is kind of cute. Okay, we'll go with Plucky. Shops. Okay, we will need a stronger... Uh, a stronger engine, but not too strong. Oh, a secure apartment. Ensure that no one gets in without the key in or out. This will help protect against acquisitive passengers and over-lively over cargo. Oh, I don't think I need this yet. But maybe this one. L let bitter and stain rod board this year. Mm, more power, less subtlety. The best lead bitter and stain rod can supply. Although, as usual, they've skimmed on materials. Oh, no. I can't buy this. If I buy this, only I have 44 echoes left. That's not enough. This energy power, 1,500. Okay. Oh, this is so good, though. This is so good. Do we want to be dirt broke? Do we want to be dirt broke? Decisions. Decisions. Do we want to be dirt broke? Okay, okay. 
we can oh no oh no oh no do we have other engines please okay okay he sells lights for the ship okay we don't need brighter light uh, it's two thousand it's thousand two hundred more it's five hundred more okay we'll we'll stick with the body shop okay okay let me sell this and then we'll go and uh, equip our things yes my memento mori nice okay we are now yeah we have to stock up on fuel uh for our first first voyage uh, okay let's see supplies okay the call the the ratio that i usually go is i have um two fuel to one supply is what i like oh but i do need to get more crew members okay let's let's check for more crew members okay there mm, hire on more crew sensible sailors are looking for a safe run to the tomb colonies or at least a sane run to the southern archipelago you need to buy drinks spread around hiring fees look for their devils mm. okay okay a new recruit means uh you get to uh get a hire an officer but there's no one in port right now so we're going to get uh some new crew just like basic nameless crews okay, i have two new crew okay i need like one more i need one, one to do this one more time ideally we are running at like 80 percent crew which this is kind of like 80 percent yes i think I sh this should suffice for now because the more crew you have the faster your ship goes it affects your ship speed it's not just the engine that affects your ship speed it's it's also how many crews running it okay, we should be okay with 12 do we want one more? But it's kind of, kind of random how many we get. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're going to do our first quest. We're going to start our quest for our immortality, which is which we need to get some wine for. Do you sell wine? Wolf stack exchange. Yes. Casket of mushroom wine. Let's go. Okay. That had no more ambition. This is my ambition. Ambition. That had no more dominion. The Blind Helmsman is a Wolfstack institution. A centuries old pub held together by a crust of fry smoke and the nautical mementos nailed to the walls. When you enter, the salt scarred navigator is already in full flow. A city deep in the interior, Nida, it's called. There, they decide the span of every life. Quark's tales of imm immortality from him. Nida's Nida? Nida? Nida's walls are basalt, but within them it's as close to paradise as a man can make. A thousand fountains, the streets paved with gem slabs, and the air sweet with honeysuckle and orange groves. How does he know? Has he been there? So we piled him with wine. Straight from the source, one bottle and he loosens his waistcoat. A second and he loosens his tongue. No, I never been to Nida. Not in the flesh, at least. He leans close. But I once tasted red honey and the memories of a man who had. I only saw fragments, an army at the walls, a breach, a rallying cry. Liberty, equality, eternity. A third bottle. Where could you taste these memories for yourself? Go to the Isle of Cats, talk to the cat's chiefest claw, ask about the far-travelled notary. But if you're wise, you do like me. Use what you learn to get free drinks. Immortality is for gods and monsters. Hmm? Pursue your ambition on the Isle of Cats. And then I lost the mushroom wine, of course. 
So. Okay. We'll get to the Isle of Cat eventually. This... The way the quests work in this game is that... It'll take a long time. Quests you don't finish immediately. You'll take a long while. But now that we are ready to... We have gotten all... All the quests we could get in London. So we should... Be prepared to head out. Okay, we have 31 cargo, 20 fuel, and 10 supplies. Maybe two more. We have a bit more crew than expected. Okay, like 20 fuel, 13 supplies should be our. Oh, should we should we fuel up? We have 40 cargo after all. Oh, I I vaguely remember that um. Vendor bite. We're going to vendor bite first uh, to transport the the tome colonist. I vaguely remember the mushroom wine is pretty expensive there, but if it's not, we'll find somewhere else to sell the mushroom wine. So we're gonna fill up everything with uh, mushroom wine, and then we will save. Maxine Appleton, yes, safe. Yes. Let's go. Our first maiden voyage. Okay, we decide we've uh, discovered the bad stiveners abyss. And we'll go, we go north. We discover Hunter's Keep and this we discover the Low Barnet. Always stop at Hunter's Keep. I love the music in this game. Hunters keep a quiet isle, a grand old house. A hump of dark rock swathed in mist, like a hundred other undersea islands. But here is a grand house, windows aglow, lawns impossibly green and lush in the fall starlight, with raked gravel paths. You stand on the dock as the sea nudges and the ship nudges the ship's side. An unexpectedly warm breeze carries the faintest trace of lavender. Uh, we can still get do a few things here. We can I can present yourself the house, walk in the gardens, uh, recon the island. I've not got to read that full thing. A spy on the house. Ooh. Okay, let's let's do some spying. Piano music drifts across the terrace. You peer through a half-opened French window into a grand parlor, a grand in size, if a little reduced in size, in style by dust and neglect. A dark-haired, pale-skinned young woman bends earnestly over a piano keyboard. Another, fair-haired but unmistakably her sister, sprawls on the sofa with a book. A third sits by the fireplace, staring, sorrow, 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 staring sorrowfully into the embers. Soon, she says, and the piano music falters and stops. We'll go hungry and then the end will come. For me, but not for you. The pianist raised her eyes from the keyboard. Hush, if you don't speak of it, she frowns. Has she seen you at the window? You withdraw. You know something of Hunter's Keep. Okay, let's recon the island. Punching Cave. Plunging cliffs, soft green lawns, a well tucked away in a fold of the of grounds. Anything else? The sea silence. Ships rarely come here. Nothing changes. Even the weather. The house is the heart of the isle, the house and the sisters. But the Admiralty may, may be happy to know that nothing's changed at least. Okay, have the port report. Okay, now the only thing to do is to present myself at the house. They will have heard you. They, they will have heard your ship come in. Why hide? 
who knock and enter. A maid with smoldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlor where three young women wait. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles and the eldest sighs. Do excuse the in indecor indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. You are very welcome. I'm Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe, and the cheerful one is Lucy. You're in good time for lunch. Will you join us? You are acquainted with the sisters of Hunter's Keep? Sure. Uh, which sister should we eat lunch with? There's Cynthia, the eldest, melancholy, pensive, occasionally dramatic. Lucy, the middle sister, is sunny, restless, prone to giggles. Phoebe, Phoebe is of soft voice, watchful, unpredictable. Let's, let's do the oldest first, okay? Okay, let's go. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you. Her eyes are white and blue. Her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. Ooh. It seems to you that you are sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to a story of a murder, an axe, a net, blood on scented water. Another chop? Cynthia asks. You've barely touched your food. Here, I have the maid wrap something up for you and you... You can't be hungry. It's not safe to be hungry. Okay. I assume this is a... Not a human chop. Although the way she implies is a little bit terrifying. Yep. You are now... You now have one terror. Okay. You now have one tail of terror. Yep. <laughs> but I've gained supplies because I couldn't eat. I was too suspicious, too nervous. I've lost hunger, yay, because I, I ate? Okay. You now have the gods of the Z, Saul's attention. Oh. It's watching you if it even exists. So, the sisters have something to do with the gods? Huh. So, uh, the basic lore, okay, let me give you a little bit of the tale. The basic lore in. Summer Sea says there's three gods. The salt, uh, the basic, the, the three gods, salt, stone, and storm. Basically, do not wrong any one of these uh, gods or goddesses. Just, just don't. Okay, get it? 